Hi. <laughs> hey there. So long time no see. I just um, stocked up on cat toys at Chewy.com. Uh, and I thought I would share with you what I got because I got some fun stuff. So you may or may not know I have two cats. I have Pinson, who is about 17 years old. And then I have Herschel, who I don't really know his age. I think the shelter overestimated his age when I got him because um, I've had him for about three and a half years. And the shelter actually said that he was like, they estimated he was around five when I got him. And I would guess that he was closer to like one because he was very kitteny. He was a lot more kitten than I bargained for. And so now he's kind of just moving out of the kitten phase. He's becoming a mature <laughs> adult cat, uh, but he does still have a lot of like playful energy. And so that's where this comes in. So my two cats, they don't, they don't have the best relationship. And I think it is partly because of that energy difference. So there's actually a lot more that goes into their relationship problems and I'll go into that more in future videos. Uh, but something that I found recently that has been working pretty well is just putting things in the environment for Herschel that are more fun for him than bothering Pinzone. Because I think deep down he really just wants to be friends with Pinzone and Pinzone is like not that interested. Um, so if I can keep him a little bit more distracted and occupied and focused on things that are not Pinzone, um, it helps them kind of share space where Herschel is not being so obnoxious. <laughs> Okay, so some of what I got, I, most of this I would guess I would consider toys. Some of them are like higher energy play toys and some of them are just like chill out and relax kind of toys. This is like more of a relaxed toy. Okay, so I'm really glad that I got this. This is something that I've wanted to get for a while, probably for a few months and I've kind of talked myself out of it, but um, I've been wanting to try and experiment with this specific toy. Um, so something that's a good thing to try if you have cats that don't get along is or, or dogs, it could work with dogs too, or a cat and a dog. So what you wanna do is take things that smell like the other animal and then swap them so they can kind of get used to each other's scent. And you can really do that with anything. You can do it with a toy, with a bed, with a blanket. Um, but I just think this is a cute tool to use for that. Does it smell? I don't think it smells. Um, so Pensone had something that I believe was from the same brand back when I very first got him because he had some separation anxiety. And uh, the one that he had in the past, I believe smelled like lavender and it had some kind of calming pheromone thing to it. Um, but I don't think they make that one anymore. Um, and it got kind of replaced, I guess, with this one. So this one does purr though. So it says on the back uh, that it's good for kittens. Um, I would say, especially probably if you have like a solo kitten, if you're like fostering or if you've adopted like a young kitten who has been orphaned, um, this would be good to kind of make them feel like they have a buddy and someone keeping them company. But for the purposes of my little experiment, I don't think the purr is maybe necessary. I actually read on some of the reviews that some cats are afraid of the purring, so it probably depends on your cat. But I'm curious to see how my cats react to the purring, and I feel like this toy is big enough that it's not gonna be something they kick around and play with. Like I probably just put it in their bed and they can get it all stinky and then I can swap it. So the original plan was that I was gonna get two of these and then like alternate them maybe every few days, every week or something like that. But I figured I could just get one to see if I like it. Cause I feel like, I mean, this is necessary. Like I said, you can do it with any blanket or other toy. So I'll probably give the other cat like a blanket or something like that and give one of them this and then like swap it. I don't know. It's not an exact science, but I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. Okay, so that was the only thing that was in the small box. And now we're in the medium box and we have a bag of catnip. Um, so this, actually all of the things in the first two boxes are kind of the more chill out <laughs> kind of toys. Um, so we have this Smarty Cat Organic Catnip and um, Pensone really likes this brand. I've noticed that some brands are kind of hit or miss. I feel like Herschel isn't as into catnip, but sometimes you just have to like figure out what brand they like or whatever. Like I've tried a few different types of catnip with Pensone and this is the only one. Like the other ones he could kind of take it or leave it. It seems like this is the only one that he's like been really into. And usually the way that I give it to him is he has a couple of cardboard cat scratchers and I just sprinkle some on there for him and right away he starts like scratching and going nuts and which are really good for him because as a senior cat, um, that helps with like kind of his muscle tone and stuff and helps him get a little bit of exercise and it also helps maintain his claws. 
Plus it just puts him in a good mood and we love to see it. Okay, so the next thing I got, this is kind of a weird one and I don't know, I, this is another one that I don't know if it was necessary, but I just thought it was really cute. And um, so in addition to giving them toys to kind of distract themselves from each other, um, I think another good tool is to have like places to hang out. So stuff like cat trees or the cardboard cat scratchers are great. Pet beds, mats, um, even like I put this blanket on the couch because Bruce, Herschel, and Pinsone all love it, and so that's one of their favorite places to hang out. It's also kind of nice to set up a place like that that's big enough where more than one of them can hang out together because they love the spot so much that they will both hang out and like forget that they don't like each other. So this is from Kong. It's called a Cloud Play Space. And it says it's luxurious plush side for kitty lounging, cool quilted satiny side for playtime. Kong North American Premium Catnip elevates the experience. So it's got the cat, the cat hanging out on the back. And I like that it's double sided. So like, so like this side is kind of like plush and soft. And then this side is like the cooling side. So I've bought them actual cooling mats before, you know, like with the gel inside. And um, a few years ago, they liked them. Um, those went bad. I guess the gel kind of hardens and then they don't work anymore. So I bought them another round a couple years ago and they weren't as interested in those. So I'm hoping that this will be more appealing to them. And that does seem like it'd be nice, a nice little bed for like summer. So this is how big it is. It's a decent size. You can tell it's like crinkling. I don't know if they're gonna, I can smell the catnip too. I don't know if they're gonna wanna lay on this or like wrestle with it, but I think it was probably a good pick. Okay, so we got another Kong thing and I thought this was so cute because I feel like Kong, you know, you think of it being like a dog thing. It's shaped like a regular like red Kong for dogs. And you can probably tell because I just showed it to you, but it's a laser pointer. So I already have one laser pointer and I wanted to get another one because I feel like it's nice to have one within reach, especially when you need to distract a cat. And I was actually watching a Jackson Galaxy video recently where um, I guess he overall is not the biggest fan of laser pointers. Um, and his reasoning is because cats like the satisfaction of actually being able to catch something. And this is like giving them the chase without letting them actually catch the toy. But he pointed out that it can be good for distracting them. So if the cat's doing something that you don't want them to do, such as harassing the other cat, um, this can be good to kind of lead them away and lead them towards something more positive, something that you actually want them to do. So um, I could use this to kind of deter Herschel, distract him if it seems like, you know, I can tell by his behavior like right before he goes after Penzone. So I could use this in that moment and kind of lead him back to me and then lead him over to like a toy that I actually want him to play with. I like that it's a keychain too. I feel like as a pet sitter, Especially like walking into a client's house with like a cat and you're worried about them like coming too close to the door as you're trying to get in This would be a nice like deterrent to kind of lead them away So I don't know this all this one's gonna be used for the house But if I like it, I might get another one and put it on my keychain plus like I said, it's really cute Okay, so I got another wand toy. You can't have too many wand toys <laughs> This gnome is actually a lot bigger. I thought it was gonna be like half this size. So it's got a gnome on it And he's got these like long stringy legs that I feel like the cats are going to love. So I don't have a ton of wand toys. Herschel loves them. Penzon does too, actually. Um, Penzon's a little more picky about which ones that he likes, um, but he does like, we have one with like a fish on the end of it and he likes like the bigger like plush thing that he can catch and kind of kick and stuff. But I've noticed kind of with both of them, like they do get bored. So I think it's good to have a few different ones to choose from and like alternate. Um, Bruce actually <laughs> thinks he's a cat sometimes and he likes to play with the wand toys too. I feel like this is actually also better made than I was expecting. I remember it was pretty, I don't know the exact price. I'll put them on the screen, the prices, but um, I remember this one was pretty cheap um, and I was expecting it to not be like super well made. It's like, it's elastic too, that's kind of cool. But yeah, the gnome seems pretty durable and pretty well made, like it's gonna last a little while. 
Okay, this is another one that I kind of just, I didn't need, but I threw it into the basket because it was uh, on the cheaper side. Oh, this one's also from Pet Stages. Um, I think, did I get anything else from Pet Stages? Oh yeah, okay, so the, the first item that I got, the little purring kitten toy, was also from Pet Stages, and I do like this brand. Um, we've bought a lot of toys from them over the years. Um, they make pretty good cat toys and dog toys, and I like, like the name implies, Pet Stages. They have things for, um, that are good for like puppies and kittens. So this is a kicker toy. Um, it's a little bit smaller than I kind of expected. I don't know, but my both of my cats are kind of on the bigger side. I think they're both like mean coon mixes, so they're kind of large. Um, so I feel like a regular size cat toy sometimes are like too small for them. Um, same with like beds and stuff that like they can go into. Like I'm just looking over here. I have this really cute cat bed that I got from Target and neither of them fit in it. <laughs> It's like a tent with like a hole in the front and yeah, neither of them fit in it, but Herschel likes to kick it and sniff it and rub on it. So that's fine. So yeah, I definitely smell the catnip on this one too. Um, I've been wanting to get a kicker with catnip. Like they make that brand. Yow, yow, yow. <laughs> you know which one I'm talking about. It's like Y-E-E-E-E-O-O-O. -O -O. W. And they make the they make the catnip kickers with like bananas and uh, I have one I had one that was like a rainbow they make like cigars and stuff like that those are pretty good they are a little bit pricey though um, I think they range from like ten to fifteen dollars and I think this one was like three or four bucks oh man I have like got so much stuff in here that I forgot what I even got okay so maybe this is like the kicker toy that I was remembering because the dynamite one yeah is smaller this is the one I was thinking of we also got a unicorn with a rainbow tail and sunglasses. I don't think this one has, does it have catnip? I don't think it does, but it's like a crinkly one. And yeah, I remember this one was pretty affordable too, and it was cheap. This one's not quite, it doesn't seem as durable as like the dynamite or the gnome, but that's okay. I definitely recommend, especially if you find something that's not quite as durable, just use it under supervision at first and see, make sure they're not trying to tear it up. I keep thinking I'm about to pull out the last item, but then I keep looking under it and finding more stuff. Okay, so I also got this Meowiwana Silvervine Sticks. So Silvervine is another plant that's kind of, it has a similar effect to catnip. Um, so it comes in these sticks and I guess the cats kind of chew on them. I got these for both of the cats, but I mean, I think Herschel will like it because he likes to chew on stuff like this. I'm also kind of curious because like I said, Herschel hasn't been the most like interested or responsive to catnip, but I think Silvervine um, is a little bit different. So I'm wondering if he will respond to this. So I think some of these products that I'm not sure about or like I haven't used before, I'll go ahead and make a review video after we've used them and I'll tell you what the cats think. Okay, now this is the last item. This is another Smarty Cat product. So this is the same brand as the catnip that we got, and it's a tunnel. So here's the cat in the tunnel so you can see what it looks like, and then I will open it up. I'll try to hold it still because it's making a lot of noise, but um, this one has like ties. So you can see the ties, so you can kind of change the shape if you want it in this kind of a shape or if you want it straight. And if you straighten it out, this is how big it is. It's a pretty good size. So I actually, I've been on the market for a good cat tunnel for probably a few months now. Um, we actually, got, we got one from Kong that I like, and I'll put a picture of it here. Um, and and uh, that ended up being the living room tunnel. It's actually, I, like, I could just show it to you. It was literally like a foot away from me. I could just pick it up and show it to you. So it's got this cute little butterfly. It looks like a log. And then it's got like a little badger or something inside beaver. So this one ended up being the living room tunnel. But what I was really shopping for was one to replace. I was looking for one to replace the tunnel that goes in Herschel's room because he actually puked on it a few weeks ago. And I cleaned it as best I could but I still felt like I could clean it better, so I stuck it in the washing machine on gentle cycle and it fell apart. So this is pretty much exactly the same as the one he had, but the one he had was like plush, like the other one. So I'm not sure how he's gonna feel about the different fabric texture, um, but I think he'll like it. All right, so that is it. We finally made it through all of the boxes. 
Um, Herschel is meowing. I'm pretty sure he knows. I put him in the other room so I could film this, but I'm pretty sure he knows that I have toys or something for him going on. So I'm going to go give him some of these. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have questions about any of the stuff that I got. And like I said, I might put out more detailed review videos if there's anything that really stands out to me, but I'm sure the cats are going to love all of this stuff. The great thing about having two cats is even if one rejects a toy, there's a good chance that the other one will like it. Um, okay. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.